Hello everybody, I'm just about ready to get started. So let's chat a little bit. So I had some very light spoilers, unfortunately, between last session and this session. I didn't think I would get spoiled in that short of a time. But uh, apparently chapter 4 is very short. So there is a 100% chance we are seeing the final boss today. So, good news, chat. <laughs> Today's probably going to be the last session. The bad news, I don't know how many levels we need for this boss. The number of levels will determine how long this game is going to take to clear. But from the standpoint of what we're going to do next, I think I'm also going to avoid upgrading Sun Coast. I I've changed my mind. I don't think I care. <laughs> Apparently, there's something very controversial about it. Maybe we'll talk about it later. About the upgrade of that very specific town. But, uh, yeah, I think I just want to beat the game. <laughs> I'll be real with you, chat. We're, we've been held hostage, or at least I've been held hostage by Terranigma. For far too long. So I think it is time to officially just beat this game. <laughs> then we can move on to hopefully a stronger game. Also, I'd like to give a special thanks to Jindrix for the follow. Wide open. So now my question is, for people that have not played the game before, <laughs> what what awful gimmick do you think will the, the final boss will have? I mean, I think we can all collectively agree there's going to be at least two phases. But, like, what do you think are going to be in those phases? Those are the things I'm interested in. We'll pause the Terranigma soundtrack, which is pretty good. We're going to dive into the game itself. You're wide open. We're so close, chat. <laughs> I probably need to level more than 26, to be honest with you. Sorry, Suncoast. I've changed my mind. So I believe last time they mentioned that the tower is ready for us. So I have to remember where the airstrip was. Here somewhere. The tower was like about here-ish. Oh, it's so fun finding like this little little bit of land. Where is it? Cause that's oh there it is, there it is. Also, I'm not really sure how the landing mechanic works. I swear, like, I hit the landing button, nothing happens. I have to kind of, like, roll my character across the airstrip, then it'll land. So I guess that's what they're trying to emulate. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm curious about one thing, since it won't, it won't take too long to do. How do they feel about the resurrection of the person? Do any of them have anything new to say? Death will be powerless, yada yada. Also, I'm definitely just gonna save here preemptively. Oh, red armor would have boosted my strength. But mm, I mean I guess that I guess that would have stopped me from needing to level up earlier. But then again, I needed to grind to get the money. So I feel like that's kind of a catch-22. No, I don't think they say anything different. We got called a non-believer, though, for saying no way. That was the only really new dialogue there. Disappointing. I thought they would be doing something different, given Baruka's resurrected, but not really. Uh, didn't they say they, they, they were in the tower? Where are these idiots? Hello? 
where are these people? I'm so lost. Did they... They mean a different location when they said, go meet at the tower. Is there more than one tower that I don't know about? Hmm. I guess maybe they mean a different place. But you know what, chat? How close am I to leveling? Question. Alright, I'm really close to leveling. So what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna go down a floor. We're gonna hit level 27, and then we'll figure out where the game wants me to go, if this is not what they meant. I, they might have also mentioned Far East, so it's possible they are referencing a different building. I'm not gonna blame the game for that one. I'm just, just to make it clear. I just don't recall. I just didn't think there would be more than one. So let's just go down a floor. Let's quickly just level. And then if the next area is also good for XP, then we'll, you know, we'll level one more time on top of that. I would like to not have to go past level 28 to beat this game. But I, I think it would just make sense, just in case we fight a boss between here and the final boss, since we still have to deal with Baruga. So it's possible Baruga could t turn into the devil. I mean, we know the final boss is Dark Gaia. Let's be let's be 100% real. What else is it going to be? They mentioned it by name already. But I don't know if we have to fight Baruga or not. It's always towers, or if it's not towers, it's like drizzle. Exactly. Oh, the crawling segment. I forgot about the crawling segment. I just wanted something fast, then I forgot. <laughs> Stupid crawling segment. I mean, fortunately, this XP is just waiting to be taken. I was gonna say, it'd be really convenient. There we go. I was gonna say, it'd be really convenient if I leveled right here. Alright, three extra strength, three extra defense. So we're 27. That's a pretty good amount of health. We're just gonna go back the way we came. There we go. That worked out. So, I mean, I guess we got an explanation for why everything has, like, no continuity. I still don't think in the context of the game itself, some of it still makes sense. I don't get why a character is trying to invent electricity again, when it's clear several nations already have electricity. I guess it's from the standpoint maybe people forgot how to do it. I don't know what they're going for. I, I still don't like it, to be honest with you. I'm not sure I like the mixed history thing either, where like Columbus, Thomas Edison, <laughs> etc. are in like the same era. I also find that very weird. Hmm. Is there something over here I should know about? the cave. Oh, they mean- oh. There is a building all the way out here. Leave it to Peril. Got Baruga's number. <laughs> this is exciting. Makes me feel like a hero. Hmm. It's easy for you to say. Meho says, oh. So you finally arrived. This is Bruga's lab tower. At its apex, he's doing abominable work. I get this feeling that Baruga is controlled by someone. Claimed he is resurrecting the world with someone underground. Don't know who that someone is. We must stop the atrocities. Lord Kamari said that only Arkra can save the world. Let's go. We'll do everything we can to help. Apparel, we enter from a different door. Arkra, I entrust you with Malin's care. What do you mean a different door? A skateboard's finally gonna come in handy. Arkra, don't you slow me down now. Why do we have like this like basic... I, I don't know how old he's supposed to be, but I get like less than 16. 
vibes from that character. <laughs> Arkra? If you ever try to ditch me, you'll regret it. I like how I tried to talk to her to get her to join us and she didn't do- we didn't get any dialogue. And then the game yells at me for trying to ditch her. Thanks, Terranigma. There's the surveillance camera ahead. Leave it to me! Wait, they know what surveillance cameras are? What? Like, do you see what I mean? Where it's like... Wait, why can't I move? Is this still a cutscene? Hello? I heard a sound effect there. Wow, that's such a long wait. Game, please. Don't scare me like that. I think I lose control when you do stuff like that. Because it's, it's not like it even panned over to what she's doing. It literally is... It's literally tell, don't show. Okay, Arkra, it's safe to come out now. Tuh. Not a child, you know. I don't think we were noticed by that camera. I hate it! I hate it! Exactly, Kaiser. Welcome, Kaiser. <laughs> See, my ability comes in handy. Now let's go. If we fall behind, the others could be in danger. Yeah, I mean, that was like a solid seven seconds of no literally no sound effects until one Wait. kind of sound. Whoa, watch out, there's a robot. Create a mirage to camouflage you. You go ahead. Why does it matter if they spot us? Anyway, we ditched the useless character. Are you grabbing me? Ow, ow, ouch, Chen. How did they beat us in here? Well, I guess we did wait for eight seconds, to be fair. Huh, did that surprise you? Kramers are operated by Royd. Tuh, shouldn't have guessed from the rough handling. I had no idea. Being a hero involved this much pain. <laughs> that's one for Terranigma Bingo. Yeah, really awkward cutscenes. Yeah, if that's on your bingo sheet. <laughs> then you might get more levels, that's true. You gotta keep it upbeat, according to him. I think there's a machine that fires laser beams ahead. Maybe it was the ability to see just a little into the future. He foresaged. Oh, that's a word. That we would be shot by these lasers. So here's where my skateboard comes in handy. Sang tight. I'm gonna shut the firing device down. Are they... Wow. Look at all these cool things we don't get to see. Are... We're actually straight up getting, uh... Dogie's cutscene fight. <laughs> this is like unironically twice in a row. They're like they cut away at like the exciting part that would be like somewhat interesting to watch. <laughs> you just see like the dumb expressions of the audience. <laughs> it's uh it's uh Ease all over again, chat. <laughs> Arkra, all clear, let's boogie. <laughs> what do you think of that? Well I think it's pretty lazy, but Follow you with Balin, Arkra. You go on ahead. Well, I'm gonna kill those characters. Oh, I can. Are you throwing grenades at me? That's just rude. You know what, chat? Because we're probably never gonna get another opportunity. Let's just use a magic spell. Reminder, I've had these the whole time. They're just usually useless because they don't do anything in boss fights. Oh, come on. I definitely dash attacked into that. That was rude. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. My jab has more range than my lunge? Today I learned, chat. We'll go, of course! But, like, when you throw your weapon in front of you, less range than jab. Oh, hello, cube. Suddenly cube. Alright, I kind of want to kill these just to make sure that I level. We also... I'm not entirely sure if there's new enemies or not. 
so we're still kind of climbing up as we go through. We have a lot of XP we need to get, so we'll just kill things as we go. Long time, Arkra. You've kept busy. Two levers must be operated at the same time to open shutters. Oh, no, please don't. I'm having Fantasia flashbacks again. 18 months, says Cryo. Welcome, Cryo. Arkra, you work that lever. Ready, Fida? Let's go, now! It's open. I'll meet up with you later. Thank you, Cryo, for resubscribing. Hopefully you're doing well. We are almost done with the game. We're so close, chat. We have, like, maybe a dungeon or two, and then we're done. I mean, money at this point is pretty pointless. I don't think there's anything we could buy. Oh, I was trying to melee. Got another Majora. Getting ready to take your kids to church. Hopefully you have a safe trip. <laughs> steer, steer them away from Terranigma. We're about to literally fight the devil, I think, in a little bit. Ooh, who are you? Very dramatic. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's make. Let's check how much XP this thing is worth. Curiosity. So we're at four eight five two six five two six five two six. Yeah, no. Somebody spoiled. There's basically nothing left in the game. I don't know if that means there's multiple bosses or not, though. The so five two six five two six five two six six five six. Okay, I mean, that's a decent amount of XP. But that's still a lot of kills I would need. So we'll try to kill stuff as we go through. Oh, oh you invulnerability dash right as I was about to one-shot you. That's so sad. Yeah, wonderful pacing. 10 out of 10. Also, do you like that I'm doing 371 damage to this enemy now? We're, we are definitely going to complain about that in the uh, final thoughts. I feel like the final thoughts are going to be more of an analysis of why this game did not work for me. And it's going to be a very long one compared to the other ones. I'm still contemplating in my head whether or not I want to go from, like, initial experience into why it didn't work or break down each individual mechanic why I think it failed. Because there, there are so many things to talk about with this game. It's unreal. That, that It's going to be at least 40 minutes solid of me, like, spoiler spoiler section. I think I might even title it why this game doesn't work. So I definitely want to kill this enemy because he's worth a lot. I am kind of curious. Did they program above? Oh, they did. Okay. Break it down to categories. Yeah, I could do that. As I said before, I have a lot I want to talk about with this game of why it doesn't work. A lot, a lot is not an exaggeration. Uh, there's enemies over there. I don't know if there's anything worth it. Oh, that's not a path. Oh, it's supposed to be like... Wait, hold on. Okay, even assuming that this is supposed to be the ground floor, where does that path even go? What? That doesn't make any sense. That pathway doesn't lead anywhere, chat. We got defense down, that's unfortunate. We'll check our XP towards the end of the dungeon. Never expected I would be helping you like this. Well, so be it, I'll blast through the shutters with this cannon. Cover your ears. Fire! Well, why did you say fire, but you still needed to aim it? Now go! Sure. Yeah, like, now this is just ultra-free XP, so the robots are now kind of worth doing, since they die so quickly. <laughs> He's like, ready, aim, fire, and aim, and aim, and aim. Nope, not there yet, and aim, and up the fire. 
<laughs> Ooh, this area looks like really good XP if I clean it up. It pretty much. Ooh, life potion, I'll take that. You know, we'll we'll take any stat booster we could get for the end of the game. I might actually need it. So five extra hit points for the final boss may or may not matter. Do a quick XP check since I already entered this area. Only need 1,300 more XP. It's very likely we'll level then. Ah, oh, I see it. Ruga's trying to escape on an airship. The corridors to the airship have already been sealed. Let's open the shutters ahead. Ruga will get away. At least we got to see a maim and fire. That's true. We have to press these four switches at the same time. Parker, hurry up and go to your room. Go to your room chat. Alright, before we get on this airship, let's just level. Just in case this is immediately a boss, do you know what I mean? I might as well level at this point. And if it's not a boss, that's fine. Then it'll just make leveling on the airship even easier. In case there's stronger enemies that we haven't seen yet. Tell me, old man, what powers everything in the, in the place. We'll never know, Chan. I like how my damage range is like between 74 and 98. I really don't understand the damage of this game at all. Like actual tomfoolery. Okay, I think we're like one more reset room from leveling. As I said before, if, if we are about to fight a boss, this is worth it. And if we're not about to fight a boss, I have to level anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Please don't get me injured because you didn't let me move. So lots of extra defense. I got six extra defense. A little extra strength just in case. Let's see how much more damage I'm doing to these things out of curiosity. 119, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I went from doing 91 damage to 119 with one level up. Do you see what I mean about the game, the game's balance issues? <laughs> I hope these last couple of dungeons have really highlighted how lopsided this is. How did two strength equate to almost 20 damage? Like actual insanity levels of difference. Okay, we'll check each of the rooms out in a moment. Uh, so that might be the room I have to fight in, or hit the switch in. And in case there's a boss here, let's get a little extra XP to maybe level. There are four switch control rooms, and three of them are Mayhu, Mayhu Maylin, and me. Arker, hurry to your room. Uh, let, let's fully explore before we enter our room. Showcasing that I can chain dash attacks. No matter how much the game makes me doubt myself due to the BS. Well, that, that double hit was sick. Alright, so that's presumably where we gotta go. Okay. Got a, got a little extra XP on the way there. Um... I guess I should probably just heal with the full heal. It's not like I don't have like a million of these still. must be it. The switch for the shutters. Akra, are you hearing me? I shout. Push their, push their switch at the same time. Oh, everyone push the switch at the same time. Ready? Now! Okay. So again, these guys are worth a good amount of XP. I should kill these just in case level 28 is not good enough. 
Do you know what I mean, Chad? I'd rather be... I'd ra They only did 10 damage to me? What? I... How? I... Did, did like... Did two level ups reduce damage by 20? Wow, okay. Stats in this game are actually insane. Oh, I have a lot of kills I need to level again. Well, at least we shortened it by like another thousand or so. We need about 3k looking at that. And they're worth a little over 100. I think they're like 130-ish. I wasn't doing exact math. I just wanted rough math. So I'm like, it's not impossible to level again, but it's definitely getting more annoying to do so. All right, what do you want me to do in this big room? What was the point of this room? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you have to willingly jump in the hole, unlike all the other holes you saw <laughs> up to this point. Oh, that is some vibrations. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't like the screen at all. I like the reveal of the airship, but oh my gosh, the vibrations. Arkra, this is a machine called Computer. Put simply, it's the brain of the ship. There's seven brains on the ship. One or two brains out isn't a problem, but if all seven are knocked out, the ship would have to go down. Arkra, here, here are some time bombs. <laughs> what? Attach one on every computer. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. You want me to trust how to take out an airship when you're like, this is a computer. Oh, by the way, PS, this is a bomb. Any improvements on the Terranigma front? Of course not, Calvisha. Okay, let's split up and search. Good luck. Arkra, tame time bombs. If you have annoying area gimmick on your bingo card, Please stamp it now, because the constantly vibrating room is going to get very irritating. Leaping onto an airship, lifting off, take some guts. That kind of risk taking is great. I like your style. Welcome to Parameter. We're coming up to the grand finale. Oh my god, it's never going to stop vibrating. This is horrible. Oh, do you like the no sound effects on the things attacking us, by the way? Do you see what I mean where I was saying this game feels completely unfinished? This also is going to be talked about in the review. There are now three different things that can attack us that give no sound effects whatsoever. Like, like don't adjust your ears. They are not giving sound effects for a cannon shooting at us. The gunners, the Gatling gunners, and the grenade launcher people. I don't know what I should be doing. I guess I'll go up first. I mean, it says there's seven, so we have to go everywhere at some point. I like it has an exit sign for some reason, by the way. But that, that, was, that was like a somewhat amusing touch. Just says exit in neon for some reason. All right, so we're gonna keep killing these because I would like to level one more time. Oh, okay, I found her. We thought we cornered Baruka, but he escaped at the last instant. It doesn't matter. When we set these bombs, he's done. We destroyed all escape pods and rocket belts except for ours. Baruka showed no way out. Arkra, when I finish setting the bombs, come to the ship's rear. Anything you missed? Uh, Off-screen cutscenes. We climbed a tower, and apparently Baruka's escaping via a very silent airship. Like, extraordinarily silent. I mean, I'm going to kill these things. I would like to level again. Okay, so I have to go to the rear of the ship when I'm done. I have to find seven computers, and then Baruga is finished? Question mark? Well, anyway, proof that I could chain the dash attacks without issue, and it was 100% of the game before. Tree of Fall in the window on it. No one's around to hear it will make a sound. Yes, if a gun fires a Terran Migger and everyone's around to hear it will make a sound. No, I know it's the world's quietest guns. They're, they have stealth grenade launchers. 
Damn you, weapons of the future. Oh, that was rude. I almost walked into that. Thankfully, I'm doing my invulnerability approach so that didn't hit me. Do you like how they're shooting at you off screen before you see them, by the way? Do you like that? That's cute. That's cute. Security system sense Arkra. Well, it can sense me wrecking them. Oh, actually, I probably should have been equipping with the time bombs. My bad. I probably have to go back to the other room we were in. I keep forgetting. This is the kind of game where you literally have to have it equipped for it to work. This is a computer. Arkra set a time bomb. Uh, I should probably go back up to the other floor then. Did I have to put a time bomb in the first room we came into? Oh, nice level up. 15 life, 2 strength. Alright, so I'm feeling somewhat good about beating this boss in one try. I'm feeling a little better. Apparently the max level in the game is 50. I hope to not ever reach that point. I was originally planning to go in at 28, but I'll take a safety level at this point. Uh, let me make sure we put bombs here. Which is kind of weird that she was there, but then didn't put bombs at her own computer. How much, how much extra damage does it do? I'm not sure. We're doing insane amounts of damage, though. I am really surprised I remembered the right way to get through that. I'm gonna be real with you. So like, did I have to put a bomb at the first computer set that we were at? Let's find out together. Yes. Man, these guys are so lazy. They were right there. Why didn't they put a bomb on it? No wonder why Vilruga's plans succeed. They don't even bother trying to stop them. But here's the time bomb, Zarkra. It sure would be nice if someone set it up for us at the computer we've been at for presumably at least a couple of minutes. Of course. Oh, there's no point to the other door. Well, I'm glad that this passageway didn't lead anywhere. Classic game. So it looks like every point of strength is about 10 damage at this point, by the way, on these enemies. If not more. Like, I did 200... Okay, so I could do anywhere between 150 and 220 damage. That damage range is a little... A little scuffed, I believe is the phrase. Again, if we happen to level again, I'm gonna take it. I don't care if this is considered overleveled. I really do not want to refight this final boss if we could avoid it. You know it's gonna be some horrible gimmick, chat. You know it's gonna be some BS where I'm like waiting 30 million years hit its weak point that's like only open for like one hit or maybe like four hits and then it's just gonna be like teehee now you gotta wait for like 30 attacks i'm just hoping there's no text it how many time bombs do i have left just one one arkra set a bomb here too say arkra this is all over what do you plan to do first i don't know yet all this constant fighting, just surviving day to day is enough. I see. Not much left to get it to go now. Keep it together. Why do I have a feeling they're about to kill off those two characters? <laughs> they're gonna be like, Oh, we destroyed all the escape pods, but there's only enough room for you, Arkra. Baruga had his last laugh. Now we must die together, blah blah blah. Why do I feel like the game is going that way? Alright, so I'm just looking for one last computer. Curiosity, how close am I to leveling? Is it worth grinding? Because we've been killing a lot while exploring, so that's a good sign. Ooh, I still need about 3k. It's unfortunate. I mean, it I think before we, we reduced it by over, I think like 1,200 or so. But we still have a long way to go. Critting there helps. So just in case, let's get some extra XP. Yeah, they're only doing 8 damage to us now. Right, so I'm just looking for the last computer. So in the search for the last computer, I could get close to leveling. <clears throat> Alright, so this is where we need to go when we're done. 
We found that. We need one more computer somewhere. Is there something on the other side of this? I don't think I checked over there, then. Yeah, we're just gradually racking up the XP, just in case I need to hit level 30. That gunner is so rude for shooting off-screen. I'm thankful I'm always iframing, because that would just be the world's cheapest damage on the character. Right, is this where we put the time bombs earlier? Where did I not go? Hmm. Maybe I didn't go to the right here? Let me try going to the right here and see what happens. This feels different. Okay, that doesn't lead anywhere. Thank you, game. Oh, did you, did you see the text interrupt my dash attack? Did you see that, chat? Rude. Uh, we set all the time bombs. Is there anything else worth exploring on the ship before we leave? Just in case there's, like, items we could get? Doesn't seem like it. So let's kill that robot for sure. And we'll check our XP total in a moment. Thousand two hundred. I think that's worth grinding, chat. I think that is absolutely worth grinding. If we if we can avoid a refight of the boss by just leveling once, I don't care how easy the boss is for me doing this. I would like to first try this boss. So we're gonna make our way towards there. We don't need too much more to kill the level, fortunately. We have less than a thousand to go now. The big robots are worth a lot. I don't think these guys are worth a whole ton. So what am I going to do? We know these guys are worth at least 130, so I'm just going to hit that guy. And I'm going to dash attack through. Just to speed things up a little bit. We should be somewhat close to leveling. Let's see how close we are now. Uh, yeah, 120-ish. So I need to get, like, two kills. That's fine. I actually don't want to go downwards there, because I think that's where the cutscene will be. We're going to make sure we level. There we go. We're hit level 30. Hopefully this is good enough for the boss. We've seen damage scaling in this game is insane. An extra defense doesn't hurt. So I think this is going to be the level I try to beat the game at. Arkra, did you set all your bombs? A-okay. A-okay. All right, I'm flipping the switch. I mean, we should probably move and not stand here like idiots. Should probably move. Still probably move. Okay, all we have to do now is escape. <laughs> foolish. Too foolish. That was Baruga. It's from the rear deck. I mean, he's going to take the escape pod that you mentioned earlier. The likes of you. I must admit you have done remarkably well. But I wish you wouldn't forget I'm a scientist. I appear to believe my escape route have been cut off. You were trapped by conventions. Take my shoes, for example. They have jet nozzles on the soles to keep me airborne. Of course! Conventional thought can't make inventions or cause progress. Or I bid you farewell forever. Let me tell you something amusing. Your stolen rocket belts? They're controlled by computer. Now that the airship computers are dead, I think they won't work. So it was you who ends up cornered. Very soon now, me and my liege's world will dawn. A world of eternal life is about to be born. What? what Is he getting sucked into the fan? Oh, uh, Dark Gaia, save me! Well, that was a really stupid way to go.
Anyway. Wow, that was super anticlimactic. That was so anticlimactic. That, that was like... That was like in... What is it? The... Uh, what is it? The Incredibles? It, it's like... He, it's what he gets for wearing a cape. It's basically that. <laughs> that basically happened. So Baruka gets killed by a machine he made. The greatest genius in history ends like that. Such is life. I mean, he could have just... Yeah, no capes, exactly. The ship will lose, will soon lose its balance and begin its descent. Arkra, looks like I brought you on a death trip. No, maybe not. We can use... Look, a gull. Maybe they've come to meet us. No, it can't be that simple. We're flying at an altitude, altitude of around 10,000 meters. Must be torture for them to fly at this height. Seeing as this one's alone, maybe the other gulls couldn't make it. I mean, at least they're crashing, so they have a chance of being saved. Hey, Arkra, you get on the gull. There's no need to endanger all three of us. Boyd is right. We will do what we can here. People have been known to survive airplane crashes. Uh... Humans are made resilient. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Now hurry, go. Their ship is starting to drop. Arkra, we will see you again. Yeah, and another life. Ooh, I could do all the dots here. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem, bye. I missed what he said. I literally looked down for a moment to get the drink. I imagine he said... Oh, there's something coming or something. I love the consistency of the automated dialogue chat. I love it. Oh, big sh little shiny star and a big boom. Scientist. The light of the apocalypse. Oh, he said what? <laughs> the world's final day what? is upon us. That light fell in the direction of South America. Maybe a missile, perhaps a meteor. Either way, it must be the end. Arkra dot dot dots. Gold dot dot dots. Anyway, it seems like a you problem. Bye. So I guess I go to South America now? But we're gonna save first. And let's go save. So I feel like I'm decently prepared for the boss. We went up four levels. I feel like that is, you know, we seem to need about three levels every dungeon to stay on pace. I guess after towards the end of the game, at least anyway. So going up a fourth level will hopefully put us in the safety zone. So we have to go to South America. I mean, as far as I know, chat, there's nothing between us and the end of the game now. Baruga died very anticlimatically. We just need to go find Dark Gaia. I don't know if we have to go to the underground or investigate the crash site. I guess we'll find out. Hmm. I guess I could get my healing pin in case there's another dungeon. Or you know what? Never mind. This person doesn't offer healing pins. Get wrecked. Mm, we'll say one last goodbye to the, the raw tree. Bye, raw tree. Hmm. 
I wasn't seeing on the overworld where we have to go. I mean, maybe we have to... I don't see the airship. I'm just thinking, maybe it's just assume that they're dead. Yes. Oh well, I, I guess they're just dead. I don't see them anywhere. Unless somebody here says something. No, that's just Quattro. Oh well, well, okay. I need to think, where where was, it's been a while, where was the uh, entrance to the underworld? I think it was also, I mean, it had to have been South America. Um, oh, maybe it's literally this cave. Hold on, let's just check this cave. Okay. I had to think about it. I was like, the raw tree was one of the first things that we did. Oh, that that feels like final save point, chat. That absolutely feels like final save point. If if we attack this boss and I do like five damage, I'm literally just gonna reset. I just want you to know, chat. I'm just gonna be like, I'm done. <laughs> like, we're, like we're not we're not even gonna bother with the attempt. I'll be like, no, thank you. I mean, we need so much XP to level. Holy, I really hope, chat. Like, we got multiple levels in that dungeon. As you saw, it was at least four. If we need more than that, like, that's actual insanity. It's been a long time, Arkra. Never forgot for a second how you saved me at Sylvain Castle. Honestly, I kind of did, but that's fine. Traveled around the globe since then saw as much as I could. The world has truly changed. Airplanes, computers, my navigation techniques appear primitive now. Heard of you all on my travels. Came convinced you are the legendary hero. This prophesies the hero will disappear underground. Are you going? We're gonna say, of course. I have to it finish cleaning up what I caused. Time, it has been a long time, Leneth. I see. I won't try to stop you. You may never be able to come back to the surface world. Maybe you should record your journey first. That is all I will say to you. And okay, now that I've talked to him, We'll save so I don't have to sit through the dialogue again in the future, hopefully. Are you going? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. We just jump in the hole. We don't have to talk to him. Please let us not do, like, four damage. If, it, like, I, I purposely got extra levels. I, I spent more time than usual in the dungeons leveling. I wonder how much time has passed since I left. I don't feel I've changed at all from my journey. You, mean, you don't feel you changed, says previously baby Arkra. So I guess we'll just go to Krista. Oh, I don't miss that visual effect. I mean, do we just go to the Elder? Arkra, where were you? We're worried about your disappearance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you never found out, you could have been happy. Did that, like, actually legitimately injure me? It didn't. Okay. I'm getting bodied by the spirit, apparently. Akra, how many years has it been? Glad to see you back. Akra, where are you? We've been worried about your disappearance. Akra. Oh, there we go. Whatever. Agra, you have done well to return. I must give you credit for resurrecting the world so far. But you appear to have learned more than you should have. There is something I wish to show you. Follow me. Okay. Go meet Satan or whatever. Are you in the basement? I'm presuming you're in the basement. 
It wasn't really clear where you went, to be honest. You could just be outside, I guess. Nope, okay, not in the basement. Man, this would have had so much more of an impact if we interacted with them for, like, more than 20 minutes and then didn't see them for, like, 10 hours. Arkra, look at the sky. The flowing crystal blue. It's beautiful, no? Your body, no. All humans here are replicas made of the same material. When used up, the replicas regain their form and float like so. Earth has cycled through growth and decline to two opposing wills. Light created life and dark destroyed what was unnecessary. And the will of the dark now tolls your end. Arkra, your duty is now finished. Now, let us make our way to the Gaia Stone. Okay. Man, if I die and have to sit through this again, I'm gonna be really cross. Okay, we're, we're walking by Space Babies. Got it. It's kind of like Xenomorph meets Babyface. Hmm. This is Gaia Stone. You are inside the sun in the underworld. Of course. This infinite corridor is the history of living things. Welcome, Promethean. Creation is making a form. Oh, is the making of the form? Yeah, yeah. Destruction is the dissolution of form. Oh my god, we're gonna be waiting forever if I have to redo this. I'm not looking forward to this. This planet's life has been promised an unfortunate fate at its start. Soon, light and shadow shall become one. There is no shadow without light, and no light without shadow. I might have to start timing him, chat, I'll be real with you. For Earth's new beginning, I shall fight like you, with real form. Hmm. Can we just go to the final boss, please? Thank you. <sighs> okay, chat. What are we gonna get? <clears throat> oh, okay. Sure. No, he text attacks! No, he text attacks! Oh, no! Your work is done, chat. We did 19? Oh no, that's not good enough. Oh. Is he ever gonna stop doing this, or? Oh no, we're gonna be here for an eternity. Damn, and that was with reaching level 30. Okay, is he ever going to stop doing this attack, by the way? That was a long attack. Oh no, he's a one and done boss. What were they thinking? Terra Nigma! Terra Nigma! No! No, my least favorite boss design. No. Oh, I should I should just give up. I should just die to this boss. Guy's rage is an understatement. It's not even a hard battle. It's just going to be so tedious. Oh wow, I didn't attack in time. That sucked. Wait, do I have to actually aim this? Are you are you serious? It doesn't just instantly go back. Wow, talk about an unneeded layer. I think I might need to look up how much HP this boss has. Look how long this is between attacks. Oh, the screw Terra Enigma chat. Who, okay. Are, is there anybody in the chat that is defending this game? Look how long I have to wait between attacks. 
by the way, chat. Oh, there we go. That was mercifully short. Oh my gosh. We just have to wait for this idiot to stop bouncing around. Like, start a timer, chat. I want you to count in real time how long it takes for this idiot to stop doing this attack. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be here forever. Like, we, we complain about PSO Worm Boss. Welcome to hell, chat. This is so bad. I know, we haven't even seen the second form. Like, look at this BS. I can't do anything. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. We can hit it on the retrieve. Okay, that's a little better. That's a little better. We can hit it on the retreat. We can't hit it on the other portions. Okay, there's a small chance we will beat it then. Holy. Oh, this like slightly out of position. I have to avoid his text attack nonsense. It's not hard to dodge, it's just more tedious. Oh, actually that's kind of a problem. <sighs> Come on. The guy's rage is kind of unfair because it, it eats my uh, dash attack. Alright, we're doing mostly fine. I'm just gonna heal real quick. I should have, like, max heal, so I'm not super worried at the moment. It's not doing a lot of damage to us, but it is very tedious. <laughs> Alright, so I, I have to hit it on the retreat, or we're gonna be here forever. Alright, so I can hit it a couple times. Oh my gosh, I was slightly off. So unfair. <laughs> it's kind of like the, 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 what's it? The Link to the Past boss with more steps. Because I gotta get it diagonally. Which is a bit weird. I'm ignoring his dialogue, Tad. I'm like, listen, I, I just want to make, it didn't even give me a chance. It didn't give me a chance to hit it. That's not fair. That's so unfair. Wow, game was like, nah, you don't get a chance. Wow. Actual RNG madness. Dad, if you put RNG bullshit as the final boss, I'd like you to stamp that on your bingo sheet now. Oh my god, it was slightly off again. Oh my god. So I can maybe... What? <laughs> Come on, come on. That's so unfair. This box is so awful. Okay, curiosity. Do any of these do anything here? Of course not. Why would they ever be useful? Holy. Okay, I feel less bad about not realizing the guy is rage trolling me again by stopping my dash attack. If chat is curious, whenever the text pops up, it eats your inputs. So if you're wondering why I jab ran randomly, it's not me. It's literally the game taking control away from me. Just want to be very clear for people that are tuning in. Wow, thanks game. I like the whole, oh, hold on. Oh, thank you. Okay, we got through phase one. Okay, thankfully we could, there was another way to injure that boss because we were going to be there for an eternity. <sighs> okay, what's phase two? We have almost full healing. Okay. Okay. So how do we... Oh, the lag! The lag! What, what was that lag? Yo, he hit me with the lag beam. Holy. The game went like five frames a second there. Holy. Untested. Untested. Unfair. I don't know what we were supposed to do to dodge that attack, to be honest with you. I'm gonna be real with you. Between the lag and everything else, actually horrendous. Oh my gosh. 
It does so much damage. Oh no. It's doing like half my health every hit. And I'm like stuck in lag frames, so I can't dodge it. Oh, that's... That's just actually BS. All right, we need more health or I'm gonna die instantly. Okay, so we need to stay towards the sides. Thank you for the literally double my health bar attack. Well, I guess if Kirk was here, Kirk could check off on his bingo sheet, insta-death attack. I will absolutely count that. How do you dodge this? I... I... I am really not understanding this. It hits the entire arena. Block didn't do anything. It hit me through block once the laser's there. You want me to block? I'll hit block again. I'm just gonna get hit like a moment ago. Oh, or, or it lagged me so hard I couldn't block. Maybe that's what happened. I got lagged so hard I couldn't block. I definitely hit guard there and it did nothing, chat. That's how that's how many frames it's eating. Holy wow, that was such a Did you see the delay? It lagged me so hard. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll try blocking before the lag happens. Cuz once the lag is there, I'm not doing anything. That still hurts you though. That's really shitty. That's really shitty that it still hurts you. Okay, so it's not that I couldn't block, it's the game lagged so bad I couldn't block again. Uh oh, please, please move. Holy. So yeah, as I said before, the game eats a million inputs when it lags. So even though I'm literally holding the block button, nothing comes out. I'm just like in the forever lag loop. So when is this boss targetable, by the way? I think I'm gonna have to redo the boss fight just from the sheer standpoint of uh, everything else. Oh, the lag, the lag. <laughs> I hate that it also pushes you into the middle so you have to take more damage. This feels really unfair to force damage on the player when it's this laggy. Seriously, when can I hit this boss? Wow, okay. That lag is so bad, chat. Like, I literally can't do anything. Like, can I hit... I can't hit the sparkles. The jump spin attack? I don't know, maybe. I could try. I just... He, he seems to be out of range most of the time. I think he needs to lean in a bit more or something. I don't know. I was waiting for him to do like a lunge attack, but it's like never coming. Yeah, see, I'm not able to do anything. He just goes upwards to dodge me. It's so trolly. See? Oh, hold on, is he Oh, we're doing four damage! <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're resetting, we're resetting. Oh, screw this, let's off reset. <laughs> four damage, wow, wow. Wow, I am not doing that at four damage. No, thank you, chat. Absolutely not. Holy. That is just so unfair on so many levels, chat. That is so unfair on so many levels. What bad game design. So it's only targetable in one attack, which is what I thought was happening. And we did four damage. <sighs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up, chat. This is what they decided should be the final boss. I don't think they play tested this boss. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be 100% real with you. 
if someone play tested this and said yes this is the game we're going for i hope they've long since been fired at quintet <laughs> which is like to call them out up chat what absolute bs okay we're getting like four levels chat <clears throat> I need this to not take like 50 years. We had, I think, maybe one attack, maybe two attacks he did total where he was targetable. What garbage. What actual garbage. The other phase was fine. When we when I learned I could hit the thing on the way back, that was fine. The second phase, no way. If it even has remotely the same number of health, we are never killing that in time. So let's get... More defense doesn't matter to me. We just need way, way, way higher attack power. Holy. Seriously, why does this not land sometimes? There we go. It's like, I, I, I can't be... I guess it's like I have to be holding land. I have to, like, leave the strip and then come back with the landing gear. I guess it wants me to simulate landing. But anyway, I hope uh, strap in. We're in for the most boring grind of all time. I'm going to get at least three levels. I'm probably going to go for four, to be honest with you. And it's so unfortunate that we're past the airship, too. So stupid. At least I can fight the cubes here. Oh, unless the other tower still has enemies. Actually, if the other tower still has enemies, I'd rather do that. Hold on. Change of plans. I think killing the death robots in the other area is better than cube. Although I can reset cube really quickly. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Because I don't like using the jump button. Let's, let's like, go farm with the other place. If the other place is still there, I'd rather farm there. We definitely can't do the airship anymore, but there were the giant robots at the end of the other place that I don't mind killing and resetting on. I'm so disappointed on so many levels, chat. So disappointed. They learned nothing. They learned absolutely nothing the whole game. It has one of my least favorite boss designs across like several bosses. It's like, inc it's incredible to me. I'm in like in total shock that the, bo the final boss is that terrible. Like how much grinding do they like, like put, put yourself in like the shoes of like either me or like an average play tester. Like why? Like, how many hours do they think that they're spending just leveling on a dungeon? Like, what- like, what is going through their head that, like, me getting- what was it, four levels on that one dungeon is not good enough for the final boss? Like, I need four more levels on top of that. That's crazy. So yeah, it's just like all the garbage components for this game. So yeah, it, it can only be damaged in one attack, period. Oh, can I not go back here anymore because we don't have access to the crane? You've got to be kidding me. Wait a minute. Seriously, I can't even level here? Oh my gosh, this is going to take an eternity. <sighs> what were they thinking? Wow. This chat, this is one of those honest times I am I am actually considering cheating to increase our XP rather than waste your time grinding. There's like no skill involved. It's boring. It's literally just like busy grind work. I'm going to be here for like an hour and a half. Easy. This is so stupid. Well, I can't go back to any of the previous dungeons we've been in. The other one, less of a reason, so... Stupid. Well, back to back to the area that I was gonna go to. Unreal chat. Unreal how bad this boss is. 
All right, I'm gonna go at least four levels because I don't want to redo it. So we know strength scales pretty fast in this game. I'm hoping to do at least, let's say in the time it's vulnerable, at least 100. So I need to be doing probably about 30 a hit. So I'm hoping four levels will increase it there. I don't know if it's going to be a times two, a times five. The damage scaling in this game is so whack, I could not even tell you what to expect for our damage numbers. Because we've seen that leveling adds 20 damage sometimes, and then other times it takes like three levels to level it. So I don't know what the boss's weakness scaling is. Oh, actually, I think I wanted to go to that other one. Oops. Ugh. The stupid elevator. I, I pressed it in futility, Chad. I tried to go back. Yes, I don't think there's literally anything to fight here. We'll go up one floor. I, as soon as I saw the elevator going fast, I know I went too far. I thought I was one floor off. Yeah, we're gonna try to grind XP here, but man, it's gonna be so slow and tedious. Chad, I would just like to go on the record to say fuck Terranigma. <laughs> just don't go on the record officially. <laughs> Screw this game, chat. This is one of the most unplay-tested, unpolished games I have ever played. So frustrating how bad it is. It's bad enough he had, like, the text attack to, like, lag you out of inputs. But then combine it with, like, oh, surprise, here's just this giant death beam that hits the whole arena you've never seen before. It literally does double your health. I'd be like, oops, sorry, you didn't know you had to be five levels higher, even though you had no real big issues with the prior phase other than the bullshit hit and wait stuff. So stupid. So I'm going to hope that this room gives good enough XP. This is just all we're fighting. It's like, imagine being in the game where one-shotting enemies in the prior dungeon is not good enough to beat another boss. Like, imagine, like, we two-shot a boss and it's just not even remotely close enough to beat the, the boss in the area. Like, that's the kind of balance in the, that they have achieved, where I'm liter literally one-shotting certain enemies. And it's just like, nope. More levels. Oh, that, that little slight movement on the conveyor makes me so sad. Curiosity, for sanity's sake, how much XP do I need? Oh, like 4,000. Holy. Ugh, gross. We're gonna be here a while, chant. I have nothing positive to say about this game. I, I can already feel a rant coming on in the final thoughts chat. This kind of stuff makes me not want to play PSO afterwards. Because I mean, it's, this is just so tedious. I don't know of any way to speed it up because we've been locked out of all dungeons other than this one. In terms of like end game areas. Like I could go to the sewers, but it's not going to be as much XP as this for the most part. Lagoon damage formulas, it kind of is. It, it, it's, it must be grading it on, like, some kind of crazy curve. Like, it's just, like, an e exponential curve of damage. It's the only explanation why dam strength seems, like, so inconsistent. Like, one level in strength might make me go from, like, one to four damage, but then, like, the four damage will turn into, like, 12, which will turn into 21, which will turn into, like, 40, which will turn into 120, which will turn into whatever. All in the span of, like, five levels actual madness. I'm very disappointed in everybody that recommended this to me, Chad. I would like to start <laughs> our, our long rant because we're going to be here forever, by the way. I hope you see how little XP we're getting from this. I would like to start off by stating disappointment on people that recommended this game. I feel like you are actually tripping. And or, I feel like I got April Fool's pranked. 
I have not played a game that has been this unbalanced in quite a while. I think what makes this really disappointing is this is what I would like to call high quality trash, where it's clearly like a passion project of a developer or something. And it has like this really big scope. It's just that they choked. They choked really hard on the execution. Like this is not okay to require the player to potentially do this in order to kill the boss because there is no way I'm surviving that boss with the guaranteed forced 60 to 70 damage per laser. It's it's literally impossible for me to, to beat that boss in time. Numerically, I, I don't think it's possible. Even if I dodge every other attack, taking that 60 damage per means I have to do a heal every three attacks or so. I already used a lot of healing because I didn't block once, so I don't think it's possible to do as much as I need to do. According to a very quick, very loose search that I did while going on this little rant, apparently that final boss has over, has approximately or exactly equal to 1000 HP. So think about it this way, chat. I got to deal about 20 damage in that one phase after a solid minute of not being able to do anything. So we need to really be able to do some big damage. Okay, here's our first level up. Strength up three is a good sign. Defense, I don't think really matters at all because the thing that was injuring me was force chip damage. So levels really don't matter here at all for defense. So I think from that standpoint, you know, I don't see the purpose in using most of the attacks in this game. There are just so many enemies that instantly punish you for touching their graphic and only a couple moves actually have iframes. So like, there's no point to me doing any other attack than the one I'm doing now. So unless I can guarantee that the land, like the air strike into the ground kills them instantly, it's not worth me using the aerial dive. If they had given me iframes on this portion, for example, when I'm still in the air, I would probably be using the air attack a bit more. It didn't have to be perfect. It could have been like, while jumping, I don't have the iframes and I think that's fair. But like when I'm in that little meteor kind of animation, they should have definitely given the player iframes on that. Because as I said before, making contact with enemies in this game is super deadly and very annoying. We've seen several bosses, for example, that give you status ailments if that occurs. If you touch the cube, if I don't literally one shot the cube, uh, then I will also just get annoyingly damaged. So there's just a lot of things where like, even if we take it down to the fundamentals and we don't complain about the long-term issues with the plot or the pacing or the cutscenes or the ridiculous balancing, then even just at a fundamental level, this game just doesn't work. And I feel like it's one of those things where it's not necessarily a tuning of numbers. Like it fundamentally is just not good. Like the only thing that kind of works at all is this dash attack. And this is the only reason this game is even remotely playable. If we had to just stick to jab, rapid jab and air dash or air strikes, I literally would not have bothered getting to this point in the game. I don't think, oh game please. I, I would not have bothered getting through. There is just so much BS that is thrown on the screen, either through stuff that's off screen projectiles or I said the contact damage that it just feels unfair on a lot of levels to have to contend with so we're cheesing it with the iframes of the dash attack i would have preferred to do other attacks and i think where you know the fundamental flaws of this game really shine through is that like they they solve this in illusion of gaia so i don't know why they went backwards with it i don't know who on the team thought that they should remove the things that they added in illusion of gaia because that game that was by the same company that came out before this didn't have these issues to this ex at least definitely not to this extent. So like, I think a big problem is like, once I found out how long the iframes were on the dash attack with experimentation, there's literally no reason for me to use any of these other moves. Whereas like, at least in a thing like Illusion of Gaia, you had the pacing of unlock where if you go ahead and attack enemies, for example, in the beginning of the game, you don't have that many moves and slowly it kind of trickle feeds you new moves. So it feels kind of like interesting or exciting to go into dungeons because you'll get something that will potentially make your life a lot easier 
even if it could be somewhat situational, like usually more often than not, the moves are really good. So you start your game with like some basic jabs and you learn like your lunge attack. And right now we're using the equivalency of the lunge attack. And then slowly it'll get replaced by things like slide and tornado, or they mix things up a little bit by letting you play as different forms. For example, so the combat feels a lot less stale. So for example, we were enjoying uh, getting some projectile attacks with the knight, or surely just the range of the sword was good enough and justified using the character. So for example, it was a lot safer to just jab, even if you didn't know about the iframes on the slide or whatever by playing the Dark Knight. And generally speaking, he also did more damage too, comparatively. And then they try to mix that up a little bit with the third form, which honestly I feel was probably one of the weaker forms of the game, unfortunately. Uh, but they tried. They tried to add some combat variety, so things were not that tedious. I think they also avoided a big issue that this game clearly has, which is the s standpoint where they finally decided to use a more traditional RPG leveling system. So instead of guaranteeing level ups by clearing all the enemies and preventing the player from grinding, they decided to do this instead. And they decided that this is what they thought was acceptable and fun for players. Also, I like how I went up 32 life, by the way. Just by the way. I, I mean, that'll help me a little bit with surviving the BS. But I just feel like when you take all these little mechanics and components, it just feels like a completely inferior product. It just, there's no excitement to doing the combat here. It's literally one button. When I'm playing things like um, Illusion of Gaia, there's sometimes the attacks didn't work where I, I could do a lunge attack or a slide depending on the situation. And like sometimes it was useful like, we did the bonus boss at the end of Illusion of Gaia, and that forced me to play completely differently without having to lag me out with text or literally make the game unplayable with lag frames. So, you know, it had that going for it. I also think the block was generally a lot better in Illusion of Gaia, and the fact that you still take damage on guard in this game is absolutely stupid. That is a game design decision I will never agree with. Block should block, chat. Block should just block. It already also doesn't fully cover the character graphic, depending on what side you're looking at, which is kind of annoying. So we've had attacks come from behind us before. So ultimately, it feels like your only real decision to play the game is the dash attack, because th there's inconsistency with how like projectiles approach you in the game from bosses more specifically. So guarding an attack that is in front of you still might not guard it because of that stuff. If I sunblock my punch, he still takes the damage, I don't know. Dark humor from Promethean there. But I think from that standpoint, it's just like... It's crazy to me, Chad. And then, like, they had an opportunity to add variety to the game. And the variety came in the form of Magirox, right? So, there's also really no point to the Magirox, because one, they're very cumbersome to come into. They don't feel intuitive. The fact that you have to replace your equip item to use them feels pretty terrible. You're teaching of the box, there you go. <laughs> Promethean is legally obligated to tell you <laughs> the, the following sentence. So I think from that standpoint, you know, they had an opportunity to add in varied combat to give you different options against enemies that maybe outrange you or perhaps have annoying status ailments, perhaps you don't want to get close to. And they gated it behind a consumable, which is terrible. It feels terrible. I don't know why they did this. Um, and instead of using what would be weirdly like a more traditional MP system, which would have been interesting if every strike you did refilled MP and you could still have items to recover MP. Like I would have been okay with that. I would have liked to have seen that kind of system so that way it rewards you for doing a mix of melee and such. And it prevents the game from being too abusable so you have to melee at some point or rely off of consumables to restore. I would have rather much had that kind of system compared to the Magic Rock system. And I think the downside is like, we're at the point in the game, several points in fact, where we one-shot the enemies, so why would I ever bother menuing, going through, selecting the box, selecting the magic, then equipping the said item, uh, and using it in situations to do damage. So pretty much all of the damaging ones were useless, 
I think we found one use the entire game where I was like severely underleveled. It was somewhat useful. Game, please. Otherwise, it was just better to ignore the enemies. It was faster, it was less cumbersome, it didn't consume our money. It didn't consume our money. I mean, that's another thing too. They could have just had it use Magirocks and not consume money, and that would have been fine. But like, if my goal is, do I kill an enemy that gives me 60 experience and possibly blow like 150 to 200 cash every time I need to kill this enemy? Or do I just move on to a better dungeon with more XP that doesn't require magic to kill? So, like, it's very much geared towards people that grind in order to use it freely. But then, if you're grinding, you don't need magic because you're one-shotting them anyway. So it's just like, it's the system inherently just doesn't work. And I feel like if they had bothered to playtest their game, it, it's pretty obvious. It, it's it, They don't need me to say this. They should have recognized this as game designers, that the systems just are... What is the word I'm looking for? Somewhat parasitic? They they have no synergy with each other. Well, we got even more health. We went up no strength. So I'm going to keep leveling. I'm going to go to 35, chat. I'm going to do a nice round 5. <laughs> I don't want to be at like 4 or something weird. We'll do intervals of 0s and 5s. If 35 is not good enough, I'm going straight to 40. But anyway, chat, from that standpoint, I just feel like the game it just is so inherently flawed. You would basically have to start from the combat up in order to fix this game. Like, we should never ever have to do this for any game. In fact, we didn't have to do this in Soul Blazer. We didn't have to do this in Illusion of Gaia. And a lot of that was coming down to like very smart forced XP. So they got to give you the guided journey of how much a boss should do. Or Illusion of Gaia, I think, did a very interesting thing to really dissuade power leveling or being forced to do this bullshit, where depending on your form, it determined your damage. I would have been fine if there was like kind of like set damage that you could do and enemy weakness might have done like two points of damage instead. I'm, I would have much rather they did that and kind of expanded on the Illusion of Gaia system. Is it perfect? No. But I don't feel like they have the actual capability of judging what is fun to do. If this is their alternative of this is how you get XP and get stats, like this is not acceptable. Like, if all they're going to do is grind, what they should have also probably done to alleviate it, because I, I think there are other games that they expect you to, like, hardcore grind. Even in those kinds of games, like, let's say Zillia. No, Chad hasn't seen Zillia yet, but Zillia is a very, very, very grindy game. And so, like, in order to alleviate those kinds of things, they offered the ability to get stat increases in the shop, because they're like, you know what? You're going to be getting so much equivalency of grade or alternate currency that you might as well just directly stat up yourself. And you could go for little achievements to get more. So like as you do like, oh, I do like 500 of a technique or a thousand of a technique, it slowly builds on your stats. Like there's no kind of system to support that in this game. So it's just very boring, tedious grinding. Do I think it's the right approach? No, but if that's the game they were going for, they should have supported that system. Like, could you imagine instead, chat, if every time we leveled up a town, it just straight up gave you stat increases? Like, that's another thing that kind of blows my mind about this game, is that there's like no synergy at all between all of the components, whether it's like a side quest or whether it's like the town building itself. There is just no damn reason to do it. Unless you really care about the subplot of the animals, or you super care about the subplot of, like, I don't know, like, the, the, the seamstresses getting their own shop. Like, that is not going to help you with the final boss. Like, you can introduce plot and power-ups at the same time. Like, they don't have to be... They don't have to be separated like they did in this game. Like, imagine, chat, like, how much less BS this would have been if it was like, okay, if you spent your time socializing and actually leveling the towns, could you imagine if it just gave you an instant level up? Or it gave you just straight up flat stats? 
like, oh, you helped push the machine or whatever, you get extra strength, or, oh, you survived uh, the telephone's uh, invention or whatever, or electricity. You survived getting zapped from electricity, so we're, we're gonna increase your health. Like, could you imagine if they did those things instead? Or they gave little gifts of, like, just the strength up potions on top of that? Like, how much better this game would have been in terms of synergy? Like, there's literally zero synergy between all the different components. And I think that it's really apparent when you compare it to other games on the SNES. So I'm going to make this as fair of a comparison as possible. Go play Act Razor and see how well integrated the town segments were with the dungeon crawling. So, like, in Act Razor, as a counterexample, dungeons, if you got a good score, led to bigger town size. Towns, if you completed their quests, gave you more spells and spell casts in order to complete the dungeon. You also potentially found items by using your godlike powers to increase your stats. None of that is in this game. I think maybe once we had a semi-interesting item drop this entire time for the town upgrades. Instead, you're introduced to really crappy shops that give you armor and weapon upgrades that are barely, if if even, an upgrade compared to what you're using at the point that you can upgrade these towns. And then you literally go, like, one dungeon, one dungeon, and you already have better than what you could get at the shops by, like, a long shot. So, instead you just spent, like, two hours, a oh, luck up five, nice. Instead you spent, like, two hours just trying to go through doing the little tedious fetch quests, and there's no payoff. You don't get XP, you don't get stat raises, you don't get new techniques, you don't get new weapons, you don't get new abilities, you don't get interesting uses of the Majorock. Like, you get nothing. And I think this is where you need, as I said before, kind of like a veteran game designer to say, hey, we shouldn't force any of these things to be mandatory, but they should always feel like they're worth your time, aside from plot. Like, not everything has to give a super great reward, but everything should feel like it's building to something. Like, if, for example, the initial town upgrades might not actually give you something all that great. Maybe it's just better healing items at the shop, and that's fine. But when, like, you're done with the town, there should be, like, some satisfying moment. Like, the, like where where is, like, the fanfare? Like, could you imagine how much more interesting, instead of seeing the bullshit cutscenes where you, like, upgrade the Earth, if you actually got to see, like, the buildings, like, in kind of, like, a warp effect or something? Like, it could have been, like, a real basic effect, like, literally, like, they wipe a white line across the screen kind of thing, where it's like, you progress the, the, ta the town to the next level and have, like, a little bit of fanfare. It's just, like, even in terms of presentation, I feel like they failed. They spent all this time, like, getting really excited about, like, giving plant life back to the Earth, but, like, they don't make, like, one of the longest main components of the game feel satisfying. Exactly, like, the castle, especially in Suikoden 1, like, I don't need it to be, like, oh, the most advanced cutscene ever. Like, as I said before, it could just be, like, a white line wipes across the screen as, like, wow, look how different the town looks. Like, I know that's what they're going for, but it's, like, it's just that kind of stuff where it just... Even in the department of the doing it because it's cool, it just fails. I'm just like so thoroughly unimpressed with the game. Instead, they're like waxing and like getting like super aroused by their use of mode seven. They're like, oh, oh, look, look at the shiny plants coming out. Oh, we're gonna show you like a minute and a half cutscene, and then it'll be literally irrelevant the rest of the game. We're not gonna do this for anything the humans do, or bother with showing any cutscenes for any of the things for the NPCs that are helping you. We're gonna make sure you see the you see absolute minute after minute of mode seven. Yeah, like, and it, game please. <laughs> and again, it's like those kind of stuff, it's like that's where their focus is. Like, I think sometimes it's, you know, they, they could show off their world map. I think they did a mostly good job on the overworld. I hate the visual effect on the underworld though, let's be real. I really hate that warping effect, it makes me nauseous. But from the standpoint of like them showing off the world, like where is that with the rest of the gameplay? Like, how many times have we beaten a boss and it's just been like, yeah, whatever, it died. Like, we don't talk about the boss, we don't have any NPC conversations, we don't really have, like, this feeling that we really did anything, honestly. It's just kind of a, oh, that happened on several of the bosses. So in the factor of feeling cool, game please, so in the factor of feeling cool, it just kind of fails. It has, like, all the, 
like extra fanfare for all the wrong things. Like I'm somewhat okay with the goals, but I feel like as we get towards the end of the game, like look how unpolished it is. We have missing sound effects from all these enemies. We don't really get to know a lot of the NPCs before they die. Some of these NPCs we've only talked to for like a grand total of maybe eight text boxes. And we're supposed to feel like really sad about them comparatively. So like when you cast like a wide net, you end up getting like nothing in this scenario. It's too shallow. Like think about it compared to like characters that they've been building up for a while. Like let's compare to even its own series where we have things like Dr. Leo. We get to hear about Dr. Leo for like the entire game of Soul Blazer comparatively. So that way when you finally meet him and see all the things that he was trying to do to save life and do all those things, like maybe his death scene had more of an impact on you because at least you had like some impression of him for a, an extended period of time. Like meanwhile, we're like talking to like underground L and above ground L and I could barely remember the difference between the two characters like visually. Like I know they're supposed to look the same, but at the same time it's like we don't inter interact with underground L for like eight hours. And then above ground L, we had like one of the worst love stories of all time. And then you add like really unnecessary things about the baby and being reborn and stuff like that. And like that's where your focus went instead of refining what you already had. Like, the fact that we don't even get to see a majority of these characters until Chapter 3, and then they die, like, within Chapter 3, just leaves, like, a really shallow impression. It's just kind of disappointing. Like, even from a main- oh, there we go, we finally hit level 35. That is a lot of health. I went up 57. Let's see, chat. Is this good enough? I have an insane amount of HP now. I can survive several more blocks. Oh man. Anyway, we're going to be going over this in the last thoughts. I am not done ranting about this game. Oh man. It's just like one of those things. It's just, I, I can see like what could be a good game, but they just failed on just like every foreseeable level between like laggy boss fights, text interrupting things, horrible weight patterns, um, weapon weakness is just all over the place, level damage is all over the place, uh, lack of feeling of progression from the town system. Honestly, it's just like they're- oh, I didn't go up high enough. It just honestly, just like what a complete swing and a miss. And it, I, I think what makes it what makes this like a very bad game in my eyes is they didn't have these issues in their other games. And this it feels like a big experimentation. And because of that fact, like they have all this like nice graphic design. They got a nice composer. And it's just like the complete lack of polish and understanding of game design on this is just like actually baffling. Yeah, like, things like this are fine. Like, these are the kinds of things where it feels more integrated. And as I said before, I think, like, some of the overworld stuff is probably the best the game has. Like, even, like, the fast travel with the ship is... It, or airship is kind of interesting. But it's just, like, everything else is just fundamentally so flawed. Oh, I'm not high up enough. See, I had to, like, bait it. I was holding the descend button the whole time, by the way, chat. It just wouldn't do it until I did that little back and forth. Oh man. I guess I save here in case I need to level again. I think that's the real play. I right, question. Alright, we're at 9 of each. That's all I needed to know. As we saw, we're going to need it. <laughs> So I'm going to hope with all this extra defense, it's going to make the first phase do a little less damage to us. And more importantly, if I happen to get tagged by an annoying projectile in phase 2, it should not be instant game over. So I've gone up 5 levels chat, I've gotten at least 12 strength. Well, yeah, about 12.
stupid. Alright, so we've now gone up five levels. Oop, I didn't mean to use the airstrip there, actually. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's just like one of those things. Like, there's just no excitement with the dungeons for the most part. Like, it just... They, they took away a lot of the fun of exploration. And, and like, talk about a big whiff. Where the hell are the save points and healing points in these dungeons, by the way? <laughs> P.S. by the way. Where are the quick warps to go back and save? Like, you could pick one. Soul Blazer did the, you can warp quickly back to the main palace and heal and do whatever. And then uh, Illusion of Gaia did save points midway through. So that way, like, right before a boss, you could be at full health. And if you're not ready, then you just go from there and go forward. Instead, they don't have any save points in any of the dungeons. It's just like, it's just like, it's baffling to me. It's just like these absolutely basic things that like you wouldn't even think to question. And we're not even talking about like, oh, you know, you experience the PS1 games. I'm like, they literally just did it in their own damn game in the last fucking release. Like it's killing me, chat. It's killing me. Like they, all they had to do was follow their own formula and they would have been fine. <laughs> I'm not, it's, it's not even an unfair criticism. They did it right twice. <laughs> Why did they miss it in this game? It's just unreal, chat. It's so unreal to me. Can I just jump in the pit, please? Oh, you're really going to make me talk to you again? I had to talk to him, chat. It would not let me jump in the pit. So, okay, I've gone up five whole levels. I'm hoping this is enough. I just need to be doing about 100 damage. If it's 90, it's not ideal, but maybe it's still doable. If, if we do less than 40, or if we do less than 60, we're leveling again. Like, there's just... I'm not talking to any of you. I don't care. So I guess we missed the spooky scene where all the people turned into spirits, I guess. Whatever. I sit through these awful cutscenes. They're so long. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This is like, they have no game sense. I swear. I found it annoying growing up. I still find it annoying now. Long, unskippable cutscenes. That's something that I think took game designers a long time. Like, it's not unique to this game. And there are a lot of even PS2 games that really failed that check and were super irritating. Even in casual games, for example, like I'll give an example of the last time I remember that being annoying. I saw somebody playing Kingdom Hearts 1 and they died to, what is it, Riku slash Maleficent. And they have to sit through that damn like two and a half minute cutscene every time because there's no cutscene skip in the first game. Like that kind of stuff drives people wild. Like, it's not necessarily bad on its own, but if you then have, like, a big difficulty spike right after a cutscene, it is, like, the most insufferable thing ever. And it did take game designers a long time to learn that people really, really hate that stuff. I don't know why it took them that long. But, you know, they did it. So I'm just going to hold up. Do you like how the game is glitching out sometimes, by the way? Why is it doing that? See, like, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, those are the things I noticed growing up. Like, I don't need to be told that kind of stuff. And it's like, I really wish the game designers realized that, too. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Oh, it's like when I attack, the game kind of glitches out to match the dialogue. Okay, that's what's happening. I was wondering why I kept stopping, even though I'm holding up and run. <sighs> just like, it's just so damn long to get to this point. Thank you. Okay, well, hopefully this will do hilariously less damage. So I have, like, almost 50% more health, by the way. 
Our defense went up by about 10%, maybe 15%. So this shouldn't be too bad. First phase, anyway. Second phase, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. We went from taking 21 to just 9. We did only 2 extra damage on that. So we really do need to make sure that this becomes targetable. Yeah, that does, like, no damage now. Gosh, game, please. Oh, I thought it was done. Game, please. Are, are you really not going to stop doing this attack? Like, what is this? Wow, it didn't even give me a chance to hit him at all. Wow. Big wow, chat. What a fail. Oh, the text ate my dash again. Okay, there we go. We skipped that phase pretty quickly, at least. So we're doing, like, about 80 extra damage. If we're doing, like, 80 extra damage to the final form, then I'm fine. We, if, if we do anything remotely close to 100 damage per phase, I could, I could beat this. Stupid. Yeah. So let's hope with the extra defense and everything else, this is an absolute BS. No, it still chips me out. Cool. But our levels don't matter, chat. Aren't you glad? So we still have a time limit due to this dumb attack. Okay, they're only doing 10 instead of 40-something. That's fine. Okay, we do 120 phase. We could do this. We could do this. No, it lagged me! It lagged me! I was guarding! The lag! That's so unfair, it lagged me. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. That's so unfair. Stupid lag. Is that doing more damage to me? Oh my gosh, game please. I think it's doing more damage. So irritating. I hate this so much, Dad. I really do. Yeah, I think it's doing more damage. Yeah, it seems to be halving. Yeah, maybe, maybe it only does exactly half. You're right. So if it's doing that, that's not as bad. Okay, we did a lot of damage there. If it can't kill me, that's fine. I don't feel like risking it, though. Oh, the lag. Okay, we should be fine. This boss battle's over. I'll take a safety heal, though. Well, that's, that's the only attack I got out. Nice. Uh, that's fine, we'll take that damage. I would like to point out how much more targetable this boss is compared to before. Whatever, screw this game. Oh, now, now we're allowed to hurt the boss, unlike the other time I was fighting. Defeated Dark Gaia. Do you feel like the lack of satisfaction of beating the boss? I don't care. Let's just end this game. <laughs> screw this game, chat. A voice echoed in Arker's head. It was the same voice heard at the hero's grave as in his own. It is finally over. Dark Eye's powers are sealed. Who is that? Who are you? Me? Oh, I'm the original white side. Dark Eye created you to rule the planet as his own.
He made you by copying me when he was first sealed. No, not just you. The village of Krista, too. Above ground... Oop, sorry. You saw a village identical to it. The world runs on a balance of light and dark. You came to realize that. Uh-huh. The darkness has passed. Our work is done. Let us return to our respective worlds. Dot dot dot. I'm so not thrilled about this ending chat. <laughs> so I just let the game end. We're done though. We, we can celebrate that. It's over. I'm never coming back to this game ever again. So this is my hometown. Even if I have a grand home with no one to share, it's meaningless. Come to think, Ella outside lost her village too. Lost her fellow villagers and her parents were killed. That's why she said she lost her ability to speak. I can feel the pain that she went through. I had no idea that having no place to go home to is so empty and lonely. Oh yeah, you're in the party. You haven't spoken since we got you back. What's the matter? You seem down. Yeah. I wonder what I've been fighting for. Okay, zero for Mega Man. So by the Elder to resurrect the world, so... I went above ground. Yes, the world was resurrected. And civilization developed. But that was all the Elder. Dark Gaia's plan. Can't help but feel I brought bad luck upon this planet. You did. Hmm. I didn't think Arkra had that kind of sense of duty. But you did fulfill your duty of creating heaven and earth. So you're what humans would call a god. Where there's a world with living beings, bad things always happen. But on the other side of bad, there's an equal number of good. Anyway, Arkra, I enjoyed traveling with you. You know me? You're actually a good guy. We've had like one scene with him. No, 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 no. We've had one scene with this character. Remember, the other one that was with us up until the end of chapter three into chapter four was a different character. Do you see what I mean, chat? This is the kind of nonsense. When I hear it and see it in the game, I'm like, no, no. I don't have any connection to this character. It's a different character. <laughs> you killed the other one that also was arguably not likable. What? You just found out now? I mean, we've only talked to you literally once. You didn't even pop up in the final battle. You didn't pop up in the tower. You just kind of went, oh yeah, I'm in Pandora's box in the overworld, I guess. That was the only conversation we had with this character. Yomi, let me ask you something. You came along with me on my entire journey. You even stood by and helped me on my final battle. No, you didn't! What? What? No. 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 Rewind the- t Rewind the VOD. Did this character show up at any point? No. No. No, you didn't help me in my final battle. No, you didn't. <laughs> I never asked you this. But what exactly are you? Oh, is that all? Arkra. Up to now, you've met countless living things, right? Birds, four-legged animals. Even mermaids. With flipper tails. All living things evolve the way they are now from one creature. Promethean saying you shove him the healing menu you are constantly in, very loosely. 
all you and me are the same but the l's are different like it did i miss something from like that like didn't we no they're definitely different ones no they're definitely different ones because they, they mentioned that conversation earlier there i feel like i'm being gaslit by the game i feel like i'm straight up being gaslit by the game because like the other one died <laughs> that was a plot point the other one's dead they went to hell together Before evolution started, they all looked like me. What? Humans evolved to stand on two feet, so they could use tools. Now, they're relying more and more on machines. May oh, God, this dialogue is so damn slow, Chad. It's really pissing me off. Maybe humans will evolve to my style again. <laughs> so Yomi might be our future. Okay, later, Arkra. I've got to get going. Are we even the same Arkra? I don't think so. I, f I feel like we're... I feel like we merged into our Ultra Self, and then we also aged up but kept our memories. So we're not even technically the same Arkra. What? Where are you going, Yomi? Back to sleep. I'll be back when someone strays. From the flock like Arkra. Later. Farewell, brother. Is that sequel bait? How dare you? How absolute dare you? Can you hear me? I am Light Gaia, the soul of the surface world. Gee, Gaia, that would have been real swell if you showed up at any other damn point in this game and helped us. Right, chat? Way to sleep on the job, Gaia. Useless. With Dark Gaia's defeat, Krista and the Underworld will disappear. Oh, I, I, now we're just being introduced to plot points that are just happening. Okay. I, I, think, I think I finally came up with the term, chat. I think this game has a lot of plot happenings. Like, they will just tell you something has happened. They won't, and they'll refuse to elaborate. This is not established in the lore prior to this point. There's no indication that this will happen, but they're like, oh yeah, PS, by the way. And then plot happens. The surface world will gradually return to normal. You are the hero who appears when the Earth is in danger. Uh oh, Earth in danger chat. If you flow. Oh, oh, in you flow both the blood of Light Gaia and Dark Gaia. Yeah, like what happens to the whole balance? Your duty is now finished. Your body will soon disappear. Yeah, like, wouldn't this underworld have remained? Didn't they just talk about how that should be balanced? How is it balanced if we got... Whatever. You know what? Let's not question it. We're done with the game. <laughs> just today, go enjoy your final happy time in Krista. In peace. Arkra? Arkra. What's the matter? You were tuned right out. What? Sorry, I was just thinking. Oh, that's dangerous. Hey, Arkra. Think happiness is being able to loaf without stress. Hey, bye character I don't care about. Hello, Arkra. You're looking uncommonly serious. Well, if you're quiet, there's one less worry for me. Yeah, we kind of ruined her life. Let's be real. Waiting for Elle to finish work. Let's play, Arkra. Mom said boys and girls are bound by a promise from an earlier life. Arkra, are you going to be friends with Elle forever? Yeah, we'll probably turn into something that stalks her for all eternity. Like a dog or a bird or some BS. Kids should be active, so what if they break a few things? I tried. Crystal blue is in the air, but I'm going out anyway. Hey, Arkra, let's play. No. I'll slowly go back to Arkra's house. I'm gonna go there last. Oh, a new world is about to start. What will happen? Thanks, fortune teller. Bye, fortune teller. 
It's not going to ruin our house yet. Just dangling on a hook and a line. It can make the days stretch out. Arker, why don't you join me fishing? Isn't crystal blue pretty? Look at that. There's someone that looks like Elle. So I guess as formally she's dead. There isn't a single person that's unnecessary, says the person. Oh, I beg to differ. Go take Maylin back. What? Magirock? Arco, what is that? I don't carry anything like that. Also, if chat is curious, I can't use the Pandora's box. Oh, he doesn't even care anymore? Lame. What made vegetables taste great? Crops I cared so much for have my love and life invested in them. And this doesn't talk to us anymore? I'm so disappointed. Wish I could jump high like Arkra. Did they forget that was a thing? Why can't I talk to this guy? That was well made. I wonder what genius made this up. He's not reacting to the fact that I stopped his bill. Wow. I'm disappointed even in the final area chat. Yeah, like, we stopped this. I mean, I guess I remembered that we did this. I'm, I'll turn it on for him, because he's too stupid to re-engage it. You say anything different? Nope. I get this feeling it worked like this a long time ago, but that's okay. I do this job because I like it. Um, I guess there's nothing else to do. I'll just go to the house. Like, hey, Elder, it kind of wasn't cool that you basically genocided everybody. Marco, something about you has changed. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lot more pissed off than when I was first here. Marco, are you hungry? Just wait, I'll make you a good dinner. I tried. They don't even react anymore when you throw things. What a bad ending. Look at that, Crystal Blue's reflected in Arkra's eyes. Oh, Arkra. I'll wake you up. Woohoo, the hot couple. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'll try sleeping in our bed later. I'm gonna try going in the basement in a little bit. What, that blue door? That's always been a broom closet. Are you all right, Arkra? Yesterday was a peaceful day, like the other day, like tomorrow, too. And I can't go in the basement. Everything started from this room. Actually, no, it really started from the basement, Arkra. I wonder if the Elder planned everything when he sent me up. He did, Arkra. He said it, like, multiple times. I resurrected civilization in Baruga and died Earth in darkness. I should have been killed by machines when Baruga was awakened. Yeah, probably. But I didn't die. I was resurrected by Kumari and all living things through Deus Ex Machina. I met the other me, and I realized my destiny. All right, I'm gonna try sleeping in the bed to see if this ends the game. Otherwise, I'll try leaving the village. Straight to credits, or just wasted my time? Just wasted my time, cool, okay. Hmm. Oh no, we're continuing. Good, good, good. Arkra? Do you hear me? I have something important to say. I tried to kill... <laughs> I tried to kill you as a baby in Stockholm. Yes, that was a plot point. In Krista, the Elder's word was absolute. But seeing you grown up, I understand now. We are all individuals. It's important to live naturally. Krista will be gone soon. But if we're bound by fate, we will meet again in time, somewhere. Arkra, until then, 
Goodbye for just a little while. Oh, chat, I see a bot account I didn't get rid of. Let's get rid of the bot chat. Say goodbye to the bot. Get out of my chat. <laughs> Arker fell into a deep sleep. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I'm sorry. There's more than one bot. Say goodbye to bot number two. And Arkra dreamt his last dream. Yeah, Edward, I don't think you're in 1,381 active channels at the same time and being a real person. I don't think that's true. It's a dream of becoming a bird and seeing the world grown older. I was just joking. Oh my gosh. It really is the bird ending. So I, I'm not surprised. I did just make a comment on that. Ooh, there's there's a there's a bot with seventy thousand active channels, all at once. I'm proud of you. You could get banned too. So we became a bird after all, chat. Yay. Ooh, hundred thousand channels viewed at once. That's impressive, chat. That's a lot of tabs. Goodbye. Sometimes you just gotta do a little cleanup, chat. <laughs> they all they weren't only maybe Sophia, I think, was there at the beginning. The other ones kinda trickled in. They found our channel. We're like, no, go away. Hopefully life will be better as a bird, no more L or Malin. That's true. We're free now to spread our wings and fly away. Never to return to Terranigma. There's the train chat. driving over trees what am i looking at listen listen this is where they this is where they spent the money chat <laughs> you have to see the bird flying away not in the gameplay or the plot or any cohesion i'm sorry what but you can't just you can't just go from trains to whatever this is is this like kaiba in like the blue eyes white dragon plane what am i looking at like, that was quite a jump. I think we could all agree in technology. <laughs> oh, the planet's on fire, according to what we're seeing below us. What indeed? Oh my gosh, Chad, we finally got there. 
Oh man, what a game. Is that he's making you laugh more than anything? It's certainly something. Well, <laughs> we're getting all the credits of who to blame, chat. <laughs> I'm still mad at the game, chat. I'm still mad. I'm silently fuming. I want you to know. I'm just like, I'm so not okay with this game. Coming. Who could it be? At this time. Who is it? The end. Congratulations, chat. We're done. <laughs> it's over. Oh, big stretch. I don't think there's anything else. It's the classic of the end, chat. <laughs> I, I, I hope she died too, chat. What a wasted character. Like, can we have an honest discussion before we go into the final thoughts? Like, what what was my supposed appeal towards Surface L? She was snobbish, refused to eat, and less given very specific food, was mute for most of our initial meetings, then seemed to generally not like us because we invaded the castle. Although, to be fair, we did sleeping drought the entire castle. <laughs> and presumably, she also should have been poisoned. So I don't blame her for being mad at that particular scene, but then it's like, okay. And, th and then she killed the king, according to, according to the game. So she's straight up a murderer. 
And then she escapes, gets hunted down by the other people briefly. Then she then she ditches us. So it's like, I, I didn't feel any connection there. She just went on her own and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I don't care. And then like we meet her again and she's in prison. And then like, I guess we had maybe like three lines of a dialogue with her. And then the most dialogue we had with her in general was when we were a baby, which is really sad. But I honestly want to go back and count how many more lines of dialogue she talked to us when we were a baby compared to an adult. I feel like she talked to us as the baby for far more lines. Because she said like literally nothing. And, and, and it makes sense because she was mute most of the time we spoke when we met her. So like absolutely what a joke. <laughs> what an absolute joke of an ending. So anyway chat. She's clearly the best and most lovable character. Yeah. So I think, chat, we're going to go ahead and transition into final thoughts. But from the standpoint of YouTube, um, I am not going to go back and level up the different towns. I will say, though, chat, I will say one thing for those that were curious. There is a, apparently a big controversy, and I chose not to read something until after we beat the game. Uh, and I was doing so during the credits a little bit. Uh, apparently, a big thing that made a lot of people mad is if we had upgraded Suncoast, apparently they end up getting a zoo. So all the people that were in the jungle area that were helping us at the beginning of the game end up in the zoo, which I think is really messed up and kind of funny, but I don't feel like going back and redoing it just to see that. I mean, to defense, in my defense, they deserve it. They know what they did. <laughs> so even if you would like the animals, apparently they all get put in the zoo. I don't feel like showing it in my playthrough, but I want you to know that that's apparently a thing that happens. And it apparently upset several people because it's on multiple forums. So if you had an attachment to the animals, we could have doomed them in our playthrough. So in a way, we gave them a good ending by not doing it. <laughs> so you, you, you can take that as you will, chat. Allegedly, that is what happens. And given that more than one person has said it, I will assume it is true. But anyway, I think with that point, chat, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'm sorry that you watched through the series, but hopefully you got to experience what not to do with game design. And we're going to have another very long rant when we get into these final thoughts. It will be it will be final beatdown, I feel, when we get into it. We had a little bit of it while we were doing boring power leveling for 30 minutes, but I didn't even I didn't even finish that rant. So we are not done, Chad. I am so not over how angry I am at this game. So let's say goodbye to YouTube and uh, hopefully see you again in the next game or in the review itself. <laughs>